all about the clap back. Get your boss whack, premieres funeral on Snapchat. Ha! You now tuned into the bad guy. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest force of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fisk. You know why you at it. Yeah, I know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen. Shout out to the Ravens, man. Ravens flock in the building. We're holding it down for B more. Shout out to the Ravens, man. Look, my apologies, Ravens fans. I ain't gave I ain't do a video reaction to y'all last week. My bad, Baltimore. My bad. But you know what? I'm here this week. Big Fisk is here. I ain't forgot about y'all. Shout out to Calais Campbell. Shout out to Patrick Queen. Shout out to Marcus Peters. Shout out to uh my man Humphrey. Shout out to the whole Ravens flock, man. Lamar Jackson did his thing this game. 108 rushing yards and a touchdown. Had a touchdown in the air. Shout out to the Ravens, man. Definitely looking like one of the best teams in the league. Um, it's gonna be tough with Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is a Pittsburgh is a powerhouse. All right, I'm not sure if the Ravens can keep up with Pittsburgh. We're gonna find out, though. That's the thing with the Ravens. Not sure if y'all can keep up with Pittsburgh, but we're gonna find out. All right, but I definitely think y'all are better than the Patriots at this point. Uh, the Patriots, I don't know what the hell wrong with the Patriots. The Chiefs, so I, I probably go Chiefs, then I go Steelers, and then I'm gonna have the Ravens. The Ravens gonna be somewhere up there too, because let's be real here: the Ravens dominate every single week. Y'all dominate. I know it's bad competition, but like you still dominate. The Ravens still dominate. Whether it's bad competition, no bad competition. It's like other than Patrick Mahomes, nobody beats the Ravens. You feel me? But um, that's enough credit for the Ravens. All right, let's get into what's important, and that's trash ass Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz, you stink. This dude Carson Wentz had like three passing yards the whole first half. He sucks. He can't get away from the rush. He he can't elevate players. Okay, he's garbage. All right, you're in your fifth year. All right, if you want to give a pass to Daniel Jones. And you know, Baker Mayfield to a certain extent. If you want to give the Sam Darnold a pass, if you want to give young quarterbacks a pass, fine. But a quarterback on their second contract making over $30 million a year, he gets no passes. You're at home versus one of the better teams in the league. If you want to be a Super Bowl contender, if you want to be a playoff contender, these are the games you got to show up for. Don't let the final score fool you people. The Ravens had their foot. So far up Carson Wentz's ass, you can see Lamar Jackson toenails when he smiles. All right, I'm telling you, the game wasn't close. This dude Carson Wentz forgot how to complete a forward pass. It was bad. His best wide receiver is somebody named Travis Fulgram. And guess what? I don't care. You know why I don't care? Because when you're making $33 million a year, it's your job to elevate everybody. Offensive line doesn't look good. I don't care. You're getting paid that kind of money. It's your job to elevate everybody. Once you get the bag, and here's the thing, Eagle fans, I'm not being an asshole right now. You know why I'm not being an asshole? When Eli Manning was starting on the Giants, I always used to say, I don't care if Eli Manning has Eric Flowers a left tackle. I don't care if his best wide receiver is Ruben Randall. Eli Manning, until Patrick Mahomes signed that contract, Eli Manning was the highest paid football player, not just quarterback. Eli Manning made more money than any football player of all time. He's the highest paid football player of all time. It's his job to elevate players. When you get the bag, you have to elevate players. I said it, I said it before, I say it again. Aaron Rodgers went on an MVP run with a fifth string wide receiver playing running back, Ty Montgomery. I don't want to hear it. This guy Aaron Rodgers is going to the playoffs missing his number one receiver before when Jordy Nelson got hurt. So I don't want to hear that it can't be done. Russell Wilson, for years, may turn water into wine in Seattle. Russell Wilson ain't had shit in Seattle. Bad offensive line. Randoms like Paul Richardson at wide receiver. He still found a way to get it done. 
There's no excuse for Carson Wentz. When you get the bag, you have to play like the guy. And he's not doing that. He's not. The Eagles have one win. One. One. We in week six. The Eagles have one win. This sorry team is one, four, and one. They are garbage. And I know all y'all going to say, worry about Danny Fumbles Fisk. Worry about Daniel Jones Fisk. Guess what? My quarterback is, a, is in his second season. We could cut Daniel Jones tomorrow, and it won't and it won't hurt the Giants. The Giants can get rid of Daniel Jones tomorrow. It won't matter. The Browns can get rid of Baker Mayfield tomorrow. It won't matter because the Jets can get rid of Sam Donald tomorrow, and it won't matter. Cowboys, you can get rid of Dak. Guess what? You can actually get rid of Dak tomorrow. Won't matter. You know why? There's no long-term contract. Eagles, y'all are stuck with Wentz. This is what you're stuck with. You drafted Jalen Rager in the first round. You better hope he good. I mean, you better hope he turns out to be good. I mean, y'all are garbage. You need to fire Jim Schwartz. You need to fire Doug Peterson at this point because he ain't been good since the Super Bowl. And it's, yeah, matter of fact, this whole Eagles offense been trash since Frank Reichler. The whole team been trash since Frank Reichler. He was a let. He was. I'm, I'm convinced he might be the reason they won the Super Bowl because th this team been garbage since he left. I mean, my goodness, the Eagles are scum. Okay, they they are. They're random pieces of trash that you see when you walking down the city of Philly. Cause you know Philly dirty. So you walking down the city of Philly, you see McDonald wrappers randomly places. You see crumbled up newspapers flying around. You see chicken bones with half the meat still on it, just rolling around in empty boxes. That's what the Eagles are. The Eagles are that random piece of trash that you see the wind blowing when you walk down the street in Philly to get a cheesesteak. That's what they are. Shout out to the Ravens, though. All right. Shout out to the Ravens. Ravens just keep on chucking along, man. Ravens are a powerhouse. They will be tested when they play better competition. Ravens will be judged in the playoffs. That's when the Ravens will be judged. The Ravens will be judged come playoff time. The Eagles won't even make the playoffs to be judged. But I ain't got nothing else to say. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas, and I approve this message.